We cannot pay our student loan debt. Millennials and Gen Zers, we can't. If we still using our X as streaming passcodes, we can't pay our student loan debt. You know what I'm saying? We need to vote early. You know what I mean? We need to mail in our votes. Because we're always doing too much. We do, we need to mail in our votes. Because Millennials and Gen Zers, we're doing too damn much. I understand that. We don't have time to stand in line at the polling places. Almost got hit by a millennial driving his car just the other day. Motherfucker was playing a ukulele while driving. I was like, bro, if you love the Moana soundtrack so much, you can just listen to it. You ain't got to strum along on the way to the crib. You know what I'm saying? It's just too damn much. It's too damn much. You know what I mean? I mean, like, student loan debt is, like, it's overwhelming to everybody. It's overwhelming to people so much to the point that soon enough, babies are going to be born gig working. <laughs> Hell yeah, they're going to come out the womb smoking Newport 100s, pacing back and forth like a crackhead, talking about, mama, mama, I can't deal with this postnatal care. I got to deliver 57 bags of groceries, two bottles of vodka, and one plan B pill within an hour, or else we won't have heat this Christmas, all right? <laughs> That's where we at. That is where we at. Like, the price of living is too damn high. It's way too damn high. Like, gas prices have been so high, I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna start an only gas page. That's right. I don't need the fans, I just need the gas. All right, I need 87 regular, you know what I'm saying? And I'll do anything for the gas. I'll show some ass for the gas. That's right, whatever your kink is. You want me to pour some diesel fuel over my bare toes while I make truck noises, brum, brum, I'll do it. $5 a month subscription, okay? It's affecting everybody. Even senior citizens, they're affected so much by the inflation. I distribute fresh food to senior citizens every week. And I love talking to senior citizens because they know how to problem solve. You know what I mean? Because they've been through real struggle. I asked one of the senior citizens, I said, hey, how you doing today? She said, oh, baby, oh, baby. Inflation got me in a chokehold. But I'll tell you what I need. I'll tell you what I need. I need some good dick and some rest. I said, damn, Tammy, uh, all I got is fresh eggplant for you. There you go. Ain't nobody gonna break your soul. Take care. You know, bacon is up to $15 a pack, y'all. $15 a pack? That's cocaine prices. People shouldn't be sucking dick in the alley for bacon. That's, that's not where we should be in our society. What's the USDA putting in that shit, fentanyl? It's too damn much. You know what I'm saying? It's way too much. Like, that's gonna be the newest drug on Euphoria. Season three of Euphoria. Rue is addicted to Smithfield meets maple bacon. <laughs> She's gonna come up into the math class with a Folgers can, that's a, a bacon grease under her arm. Talking about, what's up, guys? I got that yummy, 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 yummy. It's too damn much. I'm even noticing I'm struggling with money. Cause I went into the corner store today, my eyes instantly made eye contact with scratch off lotto tickets and my nipples got hard. <laughs> this ever happened to y'all? You're like, for a $2 investment, I could possibly make $50,000 a week for the rest of my life. I like them eyes. <laughs> it's too expensive to date nowadays. Too expensive to date. You balling if you can confidently tell your date, hey baby, we gonna go someplace expensive. Where we going? We gonna go out on a drive. <laughs> That's right. We just gonna let the car idle. I'm gonna fill it up to premium. We just gonna sit in the motherfucker, <laughs> you know? I've been dating too, you know? It's weird dating during this time with all the viruses and everything, isn't it? You know what I mean? You gotta just, you usually wanna just stick to one. It's weird dating nowadays. I went out with an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she was one of them like real hotep anti-vaxxers where she feel like lemon drops and sea moss will save her from COVID, you know what I'm saying? It was wild. She had a good personality and everything, but a couple days later she called me, she sounded like freaking Louis Armstrong, y'all. She was like, Max! <laughs> Zatarans, hey Max, I can't go out with you tonight. I'm not feeling too well. I said, what's wrong? She said, I lost my taste and my smell. I said, well shit, you might as well lose your eyesight cause you ain't gonna see me no more. <laughs> Fuck that shit, CDC say you can't see me. You know what I'm saying? And I even suggested to her, I suggested to her that she should take a PCR test. She said, mm, mm I ain't gonna claim it. I ain't gonna claim COVID. I said, you ain't got to, it's already claiming your ass. You don't want to stick a Cholula bottles up your nose, you can't smell shit, that ain't normal. You know, talking about you want to be in a relationship with me. What if we in the house and there's a gas leak? You can't save me. It's ridiculous. She even had the nerve to say she wanted to eat my ass. I said, you better wear a mask for your safety and for mine, that's right. It's too much. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, the rest of you all are like, oh my God, is my wallet safe? <laughs> and I'm from the south side of Chicago. It's wild being from Chicago and if you live in any other place in the world because they only know Chicago for its gun crime. And you know, it kind of makes sense because Chicago's the only city where you can get shot in a drive-by on the expressway. 
it's just wild, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like how's it a drive-by both of y'all driving by each other? You know what I'm saying? That ain't the rules of a drive-by, you know what I mean? Somebody gotta be stationary, you know? And then you're so vulnerable when you get, when you're on the express where you're singing to yourself, you got your windows rolled up, just like a white winged dove. Sing the song, sound like she's singing, singing, who, baby, who, ba ba bam, ba ba bam, ah, I'm listening to Stevie Nicks, not the baby, what the fuck? It's just too damn much. You know, I even read that uh, New Orleans, they got a higher murder rate per capita than Chicago does, and I said, shoot, I gladly take getting shot in New Orleans any day of the week. Oh yeah, because I mean, think about it. Think about it, you first get shot, somebody starts playing the jazz trombone. Just celebrating your life. <laughs> On your way down, you smell fresh beignets being baked. And in your final moments, in your final moments, somebody will come over and gently whisper their grandma's secret gumbo recipe to you. Cause you gotta take that shit to your grave. You know what I'm saying? And be lovely. It'd be lovely. When I was in England, the only time I would uh, come in contact with, uh, you know, like a local or anything, was uh, like if I was asking for nearest directions to like a, like a Popeyes. I'll be honest with y'all, I was looking for Louisiana chicken in London, y'all. Yes, I was. Yes. And those people, they were just very excited. They were very excited by my accent. They're like, bruv, 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 where you from? Quick withdraw, bruv. Your mom's not hot, where you from? Your mom's not hot, where you from, bruv? I'll be like, uh, I'm from America. No, no, I mean, I specifically, specifically, where you from, bro? Where you from? From the south side of Chicago? You mean like the murder capital of the world? <laughs> you mean like Chance the Rapper? Like if one more label try to stop me, there's gonna be some dread. Oh my God, Margie, take a picture with me in the Chicago and he's not gonna be alive by next week. <laughs> it was crazy. It was wild. You know, and, and it was crazy because people expected so much out of me, especially the women. They were like, Marx, tell me some of your thuggish, ruggish bone stories. And I'm like, shit, I'm out here on a Shakespeare scholarship. <sighs> I can't woo you with a sonnet. I came out here on some to be or not to be. You know, it's wild looking the way that I do because people expect so much out of me. You know what I mean? Especially like white people. Y'all always looking for a protest. Y'all look at me like I'm your newest Obama. You know what I mean? Like just radical enough, but ambiguous enough for you to feel comfortable around me, you know? Like I swear, like I'll be, like I'll be walking into a restaurant, white women will start marching behind me with picket signs. Black lives matter. <laughs> Abigail, follow him. Black lives matter. He looks like Lenny Kravitz. Let's go his way. Black lives matter. I'm like, Abigail, I'm in a Chick-fil-A. I came here for the homophobic nuggets. Get to the back of the line. You know, it's wild. Older black people, when they see me, they get excited. Like I'm freaking Jackie Robinson or something. Like I just broke the color barrier in baseball. You know what I'm saying? Older black man saw me at a Starbucks. He said, look at you, brother, with your woke ass. Coming up in here, draped in floral shirts, smelling like shea butter. Ooh. I'm so happy you came in here, brother. I'm so happy you came in here. My manager said, I can't wear my Black Lives Matter ring. I can't wear my Black Lives Matter ring. I'm ready to burn this motherfucker to the ground. I said, hold up, brother, hold up. We can have a peaceful protest. And can I get a chai latte? Oh, sure, sure, brother. I know you want that with oat milk. I know you don't fuck with that colonizer's whole milk. There you go, brother. Wakanda forever, brother. Wakanda forever. That's why they love me. They love me. It's too much. It's too much. You know, and even like when I go to music festivals. When I go to music festivals, people expect I'm either there to perform or I'm there to sell cocaine. And to me, I don't see the sell cocaine part. I look more like I sell sage wholesale. You know what I'm saying? Like I do Reiki just cause. You know what I mean? And it's always like a Macaulay Culkin, translucent dude that just comes up to me, just starts rapping for no reason, you know? Just comes up to me like, hey, my brother, come on, my man, stop, drop, shut it. I'm like, what, what the fuck? He's like, hey man, I'm sorry, you know my, my buddy Charlie over here told me you got a little uh, 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 thunder, a little booger sugar, a little nose candy. No, man, I'm not selling anything. Come on, man, look at you. Now look at me. Now look at you. Now look back at me. I know you're selling something. Come on, man. You got some sassafras on you? Sassafras? Fuck am I, Dr. Seuss? I ain't got no sassafras on me. And I get upset. I'm like, listen, man. Hold on, all eight seasons of Roseanne on DVD. Okay, Darlene's the best character to be on TV. Forget about Theo. Shawshank Redemption is my favorite film. The only film where I root for a white man to get out of prison. And I'm allergic to dairy, man. I'm allergic to dairy. I don't know anybody that sells hard drugs that's allergic to dairy. And they always say the same thing. Oh man, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to racially profile you like that. Enjoy the rest of the concert.
but I gotta tell you, you were amazing on stage five minutes ago. Motherfucker, that was Lenny Kravitz, that wasn't me. 